So you can see behind us, we got the blower door set up and we are ready to test. Are you feeling a little nervous, Mr. I am Lunsford? a little bit nervous because as a beginner builder, I don't know what my crew is capable of. So me and my mom and my dad have been sealing this up and Grace and I installed some of the windows together. So we're pretty sure that we did a good job, but of course, being pretty sure is what everybody does. We wanna know for a fact. This is called a rough-in test. So we're set up the blower door during construction where we can locate some of the problems that we've built into this thing. So now we're gonna go find any of the problems and we're gonna fix them. I don't know what we're gonna find out in just a second here. I like to think that I'm a good builder, but this is the first step that anybody has to deal with when you start testing. The very first thing that you come up against is do I do a bad job? Which is why most contractors will never test. And that's just the way it is because a lot of people are very afraid of what they would find out. We have a 3D model that we've been working with all along. And from that, I have pulled uh, some stats, which is really cool. This is what your blower door report should look like. It's very complicated because there is a lot of information going on here. We see the weather today, the wind levels, all that stuff has a big deal toward this. We have 3,015 square feet of conditioned floor area. We have 47,889 cubic feet of air that is contained by our enclosure. The enclosure itself is 9,611 square feet of walls, ceilings, and floors. All that stuff is to say, I know exactly what we're shooting for. So before I run this test, I know what configuration I want to set my fan up in because I know what number I'm looking for. Three air changes per hour or less when we run this test will future-proof this house forever. And in fact, it's going to get more airtight when we keep doing more sealing to it as we keep building. But if I can hit under one, which is three times better than what code will ever require, that would make me really happy right now. And if we can, that, that number is somewhere between 800 and 1200 because of rounding. Um, and if we can get down to passive house levels, that would be about 400 or 500 uh, CFM 50. So let's go ahead and do this. I need to baseline. It's a nice calm day. So we have almost no wind happening outside. Amazing. <laughs> All right, good, 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 good. All right, so you can see here, what just happened was the numbers went down, down, down is because it was estimating at the beginning. Now that we're at 50, we're at less than 400. In fact, it keeps disappearing because it's so low. The fan is running at such a low speed that we can't even get a number. So I'm gonna actually have to seal this back up. So while it's building, you can hear the fan is ramping up, trying to get really dialed into 50 here. We're looking at 300 and eh, something like 330 CFM 50, which is actually better than the most stringent building certification in the world. And we're not even done air sealing yet, which is what the great news is. We will poke more holes in the walls and stuff, but this, that makes me so happy. This is twice as good as what I was hoping for in my uh, reasonable dreams. So, okay, we finally dialed in 311. Woo! That's what we're talking about. Uh, so again, hi, my name is Corbett. Sometimes I'm an idiot. And if I can do this on the first big house that we've ever built, any builder can do this. If they have a crew who knows what they're doing, they would do it faster and less expensively than I have done it here. So please take that, take this message to your contractors and builders because this is not rocket science. I mean, we just proved it.